Hi, welcome to Beyond the Box with Ben. I'm Ben, and today we're going to be talking about the No Issue Eco Alliance. Three, All right. two, one. When you come to the NoIssue webpage and you purchase your NoIssue products, whatever packaging that might be, you'll see an option to join the Eco Alliance. The Eco Alliance is a way for you to show off your sustainability to the customers that come to your website, as well as to be part of something a little bit So what is the Eco Alliance? Well, to be honest, it's a few different things. The first is that it's a community. It's a community of people and businesses who are committed to making a sustainable impact with their packaging. In the simplest form, that's what we're going for. You can plant trees, you can be a part of this group of people, um, and know that it's a growing movement. We're all moving towards sustainability, and you can be a part of that through the Eco Alliance. The second thing, honestly, is it's a badge. It's a way to show that your company is sustainable, that you're committed to using sustainable packaging, because your consumer, the people who are buying from you, they want to know. Think about yourself. When you buy from other people, it would be really nice to know if they use sustainable packaging. And you'd probably want to know that. So put it on your website, put it on social media, put it wherever you need to put it, but just let people know that that's, that's what you're about, because that's what they care about. And that's what we all care about, the environment. Get on board. At its core, the No Issue Eco Alliance is about a group of businesses who are committed to being better together. Better for each other, better for the environment, better for the world. Whenever you place an order as a member of the Eco Alliance, you get to choose a location around the world to plant a tree, helping with reforestation around the globe. That's important to us in our commitment to sustainability because not only do we want to make sure that the products that we're creating are as sustainable as possible, we also want to give you the opportunity to offset some of the emissions that come from shipping your packaging direct to your doorstep. Because you plant a tree with every order that you place, we're excited to say that we've planted over 30,000 trees worldwide as of today. If you're watching this video in the future, that number will only continue to rise. And if you're watching, if you're watching this video in the past, congratulations. Uh, you've somehow crossed into some sort of alternate timeline, uh, and the future is looking better than that. A couple of fun parts of our Eco Alliance are that one, you get to choose what part of the world your tree is planted in. That means if there's a special place in your heart that you want to make sure it gets a little bit more reforestation love, you can choose that location, and we'll get the tree there with our partners. Selection of tree planting capability. Ugh. One of the other fun facts about the No Issue Eco Alliance is that you'll get updates on your tree's growth, which is really fun. <music> Sustainability is one of those things that we all want to contribute to and we all want to affect for a business. And sometimes it feels like that's just an internal thing. But it's really important to share your sustainable efforts with your customers because that's something that they care about more and more. When they look at your site or they look at your brand, they want to know that you are making as much of an effort as possible sustainability-wise, and that's just a way for them to connect more with your values as a brand. It's huge. The first and easiest way to sign up for the Eco Alliance is what it, oh, oof. The two times you can sign up for the Eco Alliance are immediately after purchasing your order and pretty much any time after that as well. While you'll get prompted once you place the order to join the Eco Alliance, if you don't click that link immediately, it's okay, you'll still have time to join in the future. Join immediately would be easier, obviously, but you know, you can, you can come back to it if you're a procrastinator, like many of us are. Get on to it, you procrastinators! So, you're a member of the Eco Alliance, but how can you actually show it off? Well, there's a ton of ways to show off your badge. You could put it on your social media accounts. You could put it on your packaging when it arrives to the customer. You could slap it onto your storefront window to let people know that the packaging inside is sustainable. Um, and you could honestly also put it on your website as a little badge, just letting people know when they get an order, it's coming in eco-friendly packaging. In all honesty, yes, you can be. There are a few different reasons for that. One. We don't offer a full range of packaging products yet. We can't cover all elements of your solution. Um, we obviously will strive to do that down the line, but for now, we only expect you to be sustainable with the packaging elements that we can guarantee have been created with the environment in mind. The second reason is that 
every little bit counts. So even if one component of your packaging is sustainable and the rest isn't, that's still a step in the right direction. We would obviously encourage you to explore the ways in which that other packaging could be sustainable as well, but we recognize that that's not possible for everyone at this time. We're working our hardest to make products that are sustainable for you, and we know that you're working your hardest to provide packaging products that are sustainable for the environment and for your consumer. We know that you're doing that. We know. You better be. We got the chance to sit down with Emily from Bravery Co. to talk about how the Eco Alliance is just one part of how she strives to be sustainable with her business. Hey, Emily, how's it going? Hello, Ben. I'm good. How are you? Doing pretty well, thanks. Um, <laughs> I guess just to, to kick off, um, thanks for joining us, Emily. Um, could you tell us, uh, tell me, tell us uh, a little bit about Bravery Co. Um, and what it is that you're up to? Yeah, so Bravery Co. Um, is a small business and a community supporting chicks with cancer. Uh, I started it after my second stint with cancer. I've had cancer three times now. So lucky. Yeah, um, and I started it when I couldn't <laughs> when I couldn't find any cool um, headscarves or headwear out there um, to put on my bald noggin, basically. Um, and so I uh, everything was aimed at a much older lady. Um, they're super daggy, really unstylish. Didn't make the whole process of losing my hair any more fun than what it was. Um, so I taught myself how to wear headscarves um, and I started rocking them to chemo wards. Uh, and then loads of people stopped me along my way and asked me how I, um, I styled them. And it was then that I kind of was like, hmm, maybe there's something in this. Maybe I can help other girls that are going through the same, um, the same shit storm that is cancer. Uh, and so that's kind of where Bravery was born. And now I am super lucky enough to work with loads of illustrators and artists from around the world um, to make these beautiful scarves um, and teach girls how to, how to style them. Yeah, that is Bravery. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, so cool. So, so part of the reason why we wanted to talk to you a little bit um, is also just to kind of expand on the idea of um, sustainability as a business, because that's obviously important to you as well. Um, yeah. So I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to get a sense for you, like you personally, not necessarily for Bravery Co., um, what, what, what does sustainable business mean to you? I think it's actually quite simple. It's um, a business that is striving to make the least amount of impact they can on the environment, whether that's local environment or global environment, um, and doing that through a whole range of you know different areas through their business, whether that's like manufacturing and shipping and packaging and um, I don't know, yeah, all all the different areas, communication, everything, kind of putting a bit of a sustainability lens and making better choices and decisions so that, um, yeah, that influences your end product and your end business. So it is a better one. Yeah, holistic. I, and so, so I guess then to take that to the next logical step, what does is, what is sustainable business mean to bravery? I mean, you mentioned so many different elements, right? How does that actually yeah. play out for you? Yeah, I think that's, yeah, so many different elements. And I think at the start when I, when I first started bravery and I'd come from an advertising background, so very much design focused, uh, and I wanted everything to be big colors and um, bling and, and shiny and lovely big boxes. And I was looking at, you know, printing, printing scarves on polyester because I just, I was totally unaware of the responsibility that you have as a small business owner to make sustainably responsible decisions, I suppose. Um, and it's been such a big, huge learning curve and an empowering one as well um, to kind of realize that every every step, everything that I do impacts on the environment. So from that, I suppose, naive design focused girl, I think bravery has come a long way um, in that, yeah, everything we do, I suppose, we try and create products that um, that will last longer than a fashion a fashion season. Essentially, we're in the accessory headscarf game, which is part of the fashion world, and fashion is known for creating a lot of waste. So we're, um, as a small business, as most fashion um, small businesses are, trying to reduce that waste um, by creating less products um, and also creating products that people don't want to chuck out at the end that will um, that they will 
have a bit of a, an emotional connection to and will want to keep longer, um, hopefully maybe forever. So you mentioned kind of the, the journey that you had as kind of this um, starting a small business and not necessarily knowing all the different steps along the chain and then having to figure that out yourself and how you were going to plug sustainability into all those different elements. Um, to that end, what, what made the Eco Alliance a good fit for Bravery Co? Like what was it about you know, that element that really spoke to you? I think, so when I was going through my, uh, trying to figure out how to package my scarves, and like I said before, um, I did I did at the start want something that was now I realised so unsustainable and so bad for the environment that, you know, it kind of then tapered into this, well, I still want art and design and for people to open up their, their bravery um, scarf and have an experience. So I was trying to find um, a brand that, that, like really championed this this design aspect, but also um, but also was sustainable and would be you know friendly to the environment. So when I found um, you know issue and also read about the Eco Alliance, I was like, thank God, there's someone there's someone out there. Um, I think it really also um, resonated with me because like bravery, um, I f like bravery, and like all good businesses, uh, it's we need to be doing more purpose driven I suppose um, we need to be not just giving creating a product and giving it to the consumer I think feel that good business needs to be doing something bigger so like bravery we um, donate 10% of profits to cancer research and like the eco alliance you guys are helping reforestation and so when I saw that and I was like you guys do good stuff too I'm like I totally want to be on board with this um, and I think that was the the icing on the cake with finding um, no issue and and reading about um, the good stuff that you do for the environment, which made me happy and very proud to be part of. So, yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. So, okay, so actually, I just want to touch because you you touched on this yourself. Um, but what would be what would be some advice that you would give to someone who is wanting to start a, a business um, and at the same time keep it as sustainable as possible? Yeah. Um, like I said before, I, I felt really overwhelmed at the start, especially on the sustainability topic, because essentially I'm creating a product. Like it's, it's you know, I'm not doing something that's a, a sustainable. So it was really daunting to be like, how on earth do I, how, where do I start? And I think the, my tip is to start small, to, um, to firstly, to start a business, start, start super small in terms of like, you know, get your idea buy your domain name, start your Instagram page. And in the same way with your um, trying to start sustainably, you know, talk to some other small businesses and ask, you know, how do they package things, um, make tiny decisions, and then you can, you know, make it to the manufacturing process and like start, start really examining deep in the manufacturing process. But at the start, you know, yeah, how you package things, where you buy things from, are they local or are they overseas? Um, and yeah. Just make a list and and slowly get through it, because it is it is it is big. It's a huge big topic and it's a huge big responsibility as well. Um, and I think as long as you are striving and always making improvements, then uh, then you're doing good. It's so it's you're, just, you're doing such cool stuff. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let me just be a little 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 fan over here for a hot second. Um, okay, so I think you've actually talked to this a little bit already. Um, but what are some of Bravery Co.'s long-term sustainability goals, kind of the future, that, that next step? Yeah, so um, there's, in my long-winded answer, I'm going to start with another brand that's doing something super cool, uh, called, called the Good Bra, um, and they make the first compostable, completely compostable bra, um, which is so cool. And if you guys don't already follow them, you need to follow them. Anyway, because I've been so inspired by... Um, by this chick, uh, Steph, I would love to eventually make um, the first completely compostable twist hat. Um, so looking at uh, all the dis different clasps and um, the tags and obviously the fabric, um, I think it'd be really cool that you could one day, once you're finished with cancer and you've kicked its ass, hopefully, um, you can then go pop your twist hat in the compost and let it decompose because you never need it again. Um, so that would that's um, that's a bit of a long term goal. Uh, I'd love to bring manufacturing back into Australia. Um, digital silk printing is not something that Australia really does, and when we do it, it's um, it's 
super expensive. So I'd love, love one day um, to get into that, to buy myself a, um, a silk printer and bring everything um, a bit more local. Uh, but I suppose <laughs> the most sustainable thing I could do for my business would be to cure cancer and to shut my business down and not have to make scarves anymore. That's the long-term goal. Then that is that is where we're at. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's one yeah. of those things that I think it's I think it's the best when businesses like the best the best case scenario for a business is to put itself out of business. Like I think that's yeah. the coolest thing. And and yeah. I and, and don't take this the wrong way. I would be so happy if you oh. if Bravery Co. went out of business. <gasps> Me too. For those, for I that think that, reason, would be for great. that reason. That would be great. I have yeah. no idea what I'd do. I don't want to go back oh, to advertising, but <laughs> <laughs> I think just take a take a long recovery time. Just just buy a farm yeah. somewhere, live out the yeah. yeah. kick back. Know that you did something right. So, yeah. yeah, awesome. Okay, Emily, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Um, we really appreciate it and uh, and just love the conversation. Honestly, thank you. Thanks so much for asking me to be part of it. Definitely. Talk soon. And now for an armchair FAQ. Welcome to this episode's armchair FAQ. The question today is what is the wrap and how can I be featured on it? To start with, the wrap is No Issues online publication. It doesn't just stop at words though. We do sounds and videos as well. In order to be featured on The Wrap, simply join the Eco Alliance, which you can do after purchasing No Issue products, and then submit to be featured. Sounds easy, right? It is. You can email us, Instagram DM us, or find us on any other channel and send us a message. You can also choose to send us a piece of mail, try to telegraph us, or find our fax number somewhere deep on the internet and send us a piece of paper saying you'd like to be featured. That sounds like a joke, but it really is easy to be featured on The Wrap. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Um, we hope you learned a little bit more about the Eco Alliance, and if you have any more questions on that, feel free to check out our blog, uh, message us on Instagram, uh, check out our FAQs, do all of the things. If you're also interested in learning a bit more about our efforts on sustainability, check out our Circularity Sustainability video, which will still feature me, and we'll talk a little bit more about our efforts. To the moon! What was that, what was that about? What the hell was that? Why did you just point up the sky? My videographer is trying to make me look stupid. And it's working. <laughs> oh God. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe.